You can use remote desktop connection to connect to another computer remotely. In this video, I'll show you how to connect to a computer that's on your local network. But it's also possible to connect to computers that are elsewhere. To get started, add a command prompt, which you can reach by right-clicking the Start button here and clicking command prompt. I'll choose admin just to be safe. And then you type M S T S C dot E X E. And this opens the remote desktop connection window. There are several tabs. I've already typed gateway here because that's the computer I'm going to connect to. And I've typed my username that's that I use to log on to that connection. There are other tabs. The display tab can set the resolution among other things. The local resources tab lets you configure remote audio settings, keyboard settings, and what you want to access while connected. The programs tab lets you start a, follow, start a program when you connect. You need to type the program path and file name here. The experience lets you configure how you can optimize performance if you don't have a very good connection or a fast connection I should say. The advanced tab is where you set server authentication and other connection options. So let's go back to general. I've typed in my computer name that's on the local network and I've typed in my username. I'm going to click connect I'm going to type my password and I'm going to press enter or OK. I'm going to click yes to go ahead and continue. And I've connected to my local machine. Now when I do this, the other machine logs off automatically. Here are the folders I have on the other machine's desktop. I can perform tasks on this desktop as if I were sitting in front of it. And here I've just changed the background on that desktop. You can pull this all the way up to the top to make it full screen. Pull it back down to restore it. There are many ways to close this connection. One is to just click the X in the window.